Greetings, dear friends. We gather today in the last day of distribution of the Libra Solar Festival. Today, we start working with a new topic, topic that was uh, selected for the Scorpio cycle and while we study the Scorpio cycle in Libra, we bring focus to the theme that we hold during the signs of uh, the fixed cross, manifesting the principle of sharing in all fields of human endeavors. And in this cycle, in the next two weeks, we will hold the focus on the topic manifesting the principle of sharing awakening the human soul. Today we will meditate invoking the vision of the unfolding plan and asking the hierarchical guidance as we work to precipitate ideas that will be formulated in thought forms that we will magnetize through our work and radiate to humanity during the time of the coming new moon in Scorpio. And as always, we start our meeting by recollecting our statement of purpose. And I invite Birgit to voice the statement of purpose. Our purpose is to magnetize the ideas of common good, freedom, and brotherhood as the highest values of humanity at this time. We recognize and cherish diversity of perspectives in our group, creating a space capable of invoking, receiving, interpreting, and radiating a higher synthetic vision. We serve as an asramic outpost, building a group bridge of buddhic energy. We evoke the soul of humanity. We envision humanity as being the seed that is flowering. We prepare the way for the reappearance of the coming one. And I will now read the seed thoughts that we made on our first meeting in this cycle and from which we have made the subject for today. One, conscious sharing of all that is tangible and intangible for future generations. to open-heartedness. Three, raising consciousness by raising old patterns in old patterns to the light. Four, I offer myself to become an extension of the universal flow of sharing. Five. Our group experience enables us to more easily hold our ideological point of view in contrast to the current chaotic world situation. Circulation with understanding. Seven, the flow of sharing, taking and giving at the same time. Eight, 
sharing and unity, sacrificing smaller for larger. Nine, sharing thoughts with each other. Ten, Manifesting the principle of sharing in all fields of human endeavor. From these seed thoughts, we created the topic for today, manifesting the principle of sharing, awakening the human soul. And let us now begin our meditation. We sense the warmth of our hearts as we link together. Holding our chalice up, we invoke the impressions and energies which will guide and support the common good of humanity and our planet at this time. Our intention is to be a service assisting human and planetary life. Focus together as a group in preparation to receive higher thoughts, impressions and energies that would later be distributed at the time of the new moon. Align with our heart, our Asna Center, and our soul. And from here, we align with the group heart, the group Asna, and the group soul, and the group and Sakarana. Let us connect with the hierarchy and with all the unseen beings and souls who aid our invocative and evocative efforts on behalf of humanity. We lead our minds and group mind into quiet receptivity to hierarchical energies, ideas and impressions that are especially available to us during the Libra full moon at this time. As we work across this month from the full moon in Libra to the new moon in Scorpio, we become receptive to and aware of the energies available that will assist with our work. We align with the great energies of the sign Libra. Libra connotes the point of balance, 
in the interplay between the pairs of opposites. It indicates the will to express in perfected pro proportion and harmony. Both the light, life of the spirit and the potency of matter. Through the balance of the pair of opposites, Libra holds the balanced relationship and the principle of sharing is a soul energy which relate soul to soul. The principle of sharing inherent in the second ray of love wisdom is gaining ground and its potency is being released by the activity of the fourth ray of harmony through conflict. Libra offers the potent dynamic equilibrium, preparing for the reorientation into higher spiritual realms. Libra is an interlude with silence in the outer world and increasing tension in the inner world. The soul organizes itself for battle and the personality waits. The light of Libra is the light that moves to rest. Caring for the light of Scorpio, the light of day. In this atmosphere, let us now connect with our topic for this month. Manifesting the principles of sharing. Awakening the human soul. Manifesting the principle of sharing. Awakening the human soul. We deepen our contemplation on our topic. Let us ponder on the following questions. What is the essence of sharing? And how can we encourage the soul energy in ourselves and others? What is the essence of sharing? And how can we encourage the soul energy in others and ourselves?
How does sharing encourage the awakening of the human soul? Does it activate something in the human soul? How does sharing encourage the awakening of the human soul? Does it activate something in the human soul? The principle of sharing works under the second ray and is released by the activity of the fourth ray. Do we recognize the principle of sharing working through the second and fourth ray in the world today? The principle of sharing works under the second ray and is released by the activity of the fourth ray. Do we recognize the principle of sharing working through the second and fourth ray in the world today?
we return from the depths of our pondering. And as we draw together the impressions of our contemplation, let us allow them to take form. Drawing our impressions together, we rest in silence for a few more moments. We see our impressions flowing together into the group heart, filling our chalice and vitalizing it with radiant light, enhancing its beauty and the wisdom of its tone. Together, we direct this light upward to the hierarchy and await their blessings upon it. And now, Realizing our invocation today, we witness its radiance pouring downward from our chalice into the lower planes, stimulating all receptive hearts and minds. Grounding our work and the energies we have invoked today, let us sound the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into human minds, let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into human hearts. May Christ return to earth. In the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little human wills, the purpose which the masters know and serve. The sender which we call humanity, let the plan of love and light work out and make seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Ooh.
Thank you, friends. We open now our space for sharing impressions. As always, we can also share impressions and any related materials that we will encounter in the next couple of weeks are now community impressions board. You can find the link to the board uh, in the chat. And now as we prepare to share, let us continue holding the meditative attitude. And as we prepare to share, allow some time between each sharing for words to find its place in our group chalice, resonating with the group within the group field. When you're ready, just unmute yourself and we will go with the flow. Andrea, please unmute yourself. When I think of the essence of sharing, I think of two things. I think of listening, because I think when you truly share the attention of listening to, to another person, really listening to them, it is enabling a sharing that puts yourself second. And so about that is just obviously compassion. And I think we see so much of this sharing happening in the world right now. We see it in our country when we watch people get in their cars and selflessly go to help others that have had major conflicts within their environment and that they put aside their time to give time to others. It's, it's you know, I keep hearing this thing that is you before me creates we. And I think that is so much about sharing that being that selflessness that stands back and lets the other come forward is, is the foundation of sharing.
I never thought about sharing in from that perspective the need to listen. Thank you, Andrea. I think in a way it's uh, very resonates when uh, with one of the principles of esoteric healing, where a healer before um, delivering the help or trying to help a patient in front of him or her has to recognize, has to listen deeply to recognize what is the evolutionary stage of the patient. In other words, what is the need uh, of the person in front? And that part is that, yeah, we cannot just give anything we have to the patient and uh, try to save uh, his or her soul right away. We need to listen and give what is needed. I'm thinking what is coming first, uh, the sharing or the awakening of the human soul? Uh, I guess uh, um, the awakening of, of the human soul, because the soul is um, a group oriented and it is natural for the soul to see um, what is mine is also yours, but uh, you need to get past uh, the um, uh, egoism and of of the personality first. Um, so I guess sharing is a sign of the awakening of the human soul. Um, whether we are conscious or unconscious of it. And I've, I've never thought about uh, sharing as um, being released by the fourth way because it is harmony through conflict. Uh, but humanity is... Um, governed by the fourth ray and we get our uh, the first ray uh, um, beginning to come in in uh, from uh, next year um so i hope we can see much more of sharing um but you're right andrea uh, in 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 crisis we Automat automatically um, help each other. Um, soul awakening or not, uh, I guess. And this can um, perhaps help the awakening of the soul. And helping others can also encourage the awakening of the soul in others, I guess. Thank you. I was just thinking about how sharing uh, and Libra actually fits together uh, in a really special way. Um, because when I think of sharing, I think uh, not so much of I am giving something to you, but that we share a oneness, uh, that there has to be a balance, there has to be an equity. The line that came to my mind, which is one we say all the time, is I am one with my group brothers and all that I have is theirs. I don't think we uh, are at a place where we truly live that statement. 
And yet uh, that's really where sharing comes from. Um, I think uh, in its essence, it's really about right relationship. It's really uh, seeing oneself in the other. And so I can't have so much and you have nothing. That, uh, that's real imbalance. And so it's that, that place between, um, I was thinking what comes out of sharing? When I give something to another person and I see the response, I get something back. There's an, there's an absolute uh, reciprocity because what stands in the middle is love. Um, I am giving out a love, but I am receiving the love because I've given. And so in some ways that awakens the soul. Sharing awakens the soul and an awakened soul shares. So it's both, it, it's not one or the other. And um, I thought of sharing on different levels. I thought of sharing information. I thought of sharing ideas. I thought of sharing techniques. I was thinking of all the uh, recent, um, uh, the chemists that have gotten the Nobel Prize. Most of these folks have worked together as group They've shared ideas. Nobody's done it by themselves. And uh, so that's a real good example of sharing, sharing a community ideas and celebrating each other when we share because we we share that that uh, that experience and that um, new impulse together. Uh, and so that's uh, one idea of a, a Aquarian sharing. I think that really is where uh, sharing needs to go in terms of um, there being a balance because ultimately uh, we are one together. So when I looked at um, the idea of uh, where our culture is now, uh, that's the shift that needs to happen because the goal is not all that I can get for myself. The goal is uh, that we share uh, this one life. And so when that shift happens, then sharing will be automatic. But until it does, I mean, that's the consciousness that we need to uh, bring to the fore uh, as we promote sharing and think about how we share uh, because ultimately it's our responsibility for us and our fellow human beings all to be, uh, you know, in a place where we are uh, experiencing and having uh, the wealth of time, of love, of material possessions, of all of those pieces together. I'm thinking of some different ways of thinking of sharing. Especially when Alexander was talking about. Helen, I apologize. Your sound is not very clear. Oh. Uh, it's uh, a different computer, it's got that. <laughs> have to call the, uh, the sound bit up. I'm sorry, there's also a dog thing in the background. It's um, good. <laughs> I I got a different idea of sharing to when you spoke of the healing and I, I thought about the, the soul endeavouring to share itself with the personality and how we we block that that sharing with our persistent circling thoughts and our uh, our emotional uh, fog it, it we're resisting the sharing that the soul is endeavoring to offer us there's this different thought on sharing which I I hadn't really 
experienced before. So thank you. Um, I think uh, as we think of different kinds of sharing, uh, maybe we need to think of the vertical too, kind of as you were saying, Helen. Um, the uh, on the personality level, we talk about sharing a lot on the personality level, in a sense, um, inspired by the soul, um, because we we see it as separate people coming together. Whereas I think the more the soul consciousness is in control. The soul doesn't see the separateness. The soul only sees one, oneness everywhere uh, with all souls. Um, so I think the more, the more um, awakened, you know, the more soul influenced we are, um, the, the less anything of this is even an issue in the sense it's just all that oneness um, as people um, we're referencing before. Um, I think on the personality level, um, a kind of definition might be, one might be, sharing might be just an energy exchange, um, adding, which adds to or builds, um, not takes away from, but adds to or builds. Uh, I think with the um, with the fourth ray, that was interesting about the second ray and the fourth ray. I'd certainly never thought about that before. Um, it seems like the second ray uh, just is there because it's a bridge between the first and third, <laughs> um, essentially, and and the first and third aspects. So. Uh, it, I think uh, the fourth fourth ray again. It's a personality thing. It, it appears there's conflict as the various um, person the the various se separate se the separation that has occurred with the second second aspect um, leads to all these separate little points of light um, released from the one light. The one being, and um, really, as we say, it's all in harmony. But at the personality level, we see these separate beings. Um, so when we look at conf conflict, we're looking at how these separate beings um, relate to one another and uh, come in contact with one another. Whereas um, actually, the second ray is just that yes, there is a relationship in its love and wisdom, but through the fourth ray, we're getting into it more <laughs> in, a, in a way different way on the personality, on the personality level. I um, hope that isn't too much meandering, okay? Hi, everybody. Um, I'm probably going to repeat what other people have said, but I'll carry on regardless. On question one, I think um, we can share optimism with other people when we talk about the future. There's such a lot of doom and gloom around, and I think by sharing optimism, 
we can help move things um, along in a better direction. And on two, I've put the soul is love and is unselfish. So when we share, we will have a good effect on the soul. And on three, uh, when we look at the world today and we see the conflict and there's enough of it around, it's bringing a desire for peace and people are working together to endure the suffering and to try and bring peace. They're sharing things together. Thanks. No, I agree with everything, well, almost everything everyone has said, and also what Jill just said. I was thinking along those lines as well. And optimism, we can share optimism. When we started these sentences at the beginning, a thought came back to me from when I was 12, and I, I'm pretty sure I've told you this story before, but... It, I rode the city bus to get to school. I was in New York City, and there was a bus driver who I had many mornings, and at every stop, he would open the door, smile, and say, good morning, in a very cheerful, uplifted voice. Every stop to everybody. And at 12, I thought, gosh, isn't that something? And that's 68 years ago, and I still remember it. And when I remember the story, I'm still uplifted. And it still touches my heart. And I think if optimism can touch someone's heart and the heart can be opened, I mean, yes, soul is love, everything's love. It, it comes down to that. And we want to try to work from that to help our fellow man and raise consciousness. And yes, I think like all of you have said, that uh, conflict uh, awakens many hearts and much love can flow from the, the conflict. Not a nice way for it to have to come, but um, anyway, uh, that's all I can think of is love is the bottom line and how do we get there? Thanks a lot. I'm thinking about what you said, uh, Helen, before that the soul is sharing, but the personality is is blocking it out because of uh, um, thoughts and uh, feelings. And um, uh, I guess that's uh, uh, what we are trying to reverse um, or at least uh, get in cut, uh, touch uh, with the soul when we are uh, rehearsing um, uh, in meditation um, to get in touch with the soul. Um, and I think um, the fourth ray, that is humanity's uh, way to learn. Uh, we had have to at least uh, now learn it uh, at the hard way and um, get uh, through the conflict uh, to harmony. Um, and um, the second and fourth ray um, is on the same uh, even um, 
numbered uh, uh, line as, as second, fourth, and 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 six. So perhaps it's not so um, curious or, or or difficult to to uh, as a, a first uh, thought um, that sharing um, comes in in. Uh, through the fourth ray. Thank you. It's often said that um, greatest great artists are geniuses, and I've read people too who divide, define genius as um, um, energy flow from the soul. Um, I also think um, that the suffering and the pain of the conflict somehow uh, cracks open the personality. I don't know. I think there's some sort of, uh, you're no longer unable, well, you're just no longer enable to uh, rely on the lower self to protect you from pain so, so, so often. And somehow that crack allows in that higher light. Um, okay. I agree with you. And, and uh, when um, you get sick or something uh, uh, happens to you, um, it makes you um, ponder and think and uh, get in touch with something higher uh, than yourself and uh, therefore uh, get in touch uh, we, with uh, your soul. So I think... Uh, that's that's um, that's uh, how it works, and uh, as uh, I think it's Jenny Weir, uh, Jenny Weir, uh, who wrote that, uh, and Paul that um, false way is also harmony through beauty, and uh, that's true, but. Um, the fourth ray is not um, sometimes uh, talked about as, as uh, uh, the ray of art, but each art um, uh, has, has uh, its ray. Um, so uh, it's And each artist uh, has uh, uh, all the the rays from the personality, soul, and um, and, uh, and and monad. So uh, it is this mixed that uh, that uh, gets the the harmony uh, through. Uh, through uh, the conflict of all these uh, rays. Thank you. Yes, and um, you know, when I'm thinking about that, about sharing, it's just, I keep coming to the same uh, mantra like shared life shared space like when you were talking about that kicking about the bus it's, it's an invitation to a shared space mm -hmm. shared morning you no know, shared life and when i think about art it's again it's sharing because it's um it is a share sh sharing of the uh, higher being beings or planes to the artist you know and then 
is being shared with us if we ever see that. But if we don't, it is still shared because when it's put on paper or <clears throat> music sheets you know, or whatever, craft, any craft, we think art, but anybody who is making anything out of any, anything is an artist, is creating. So any creative process is shared. <coughs> And uh, the conflict, and once again, we think about that as separation opposition. Yet, in the in the in the in the heart of the heart of the conflict, it is a shared um, something that is viewed from a different positions. But it is a very shared situation, and sometimes it's the closest that you know people or nations or principles can come to touch each other is through the conflict. And from that, the realization comes. You know. Which is the least fun part of that. And, um, but still, it is uh, deeply shared. It is in the end, the oneness, oneness that is that is being shared and partaken by all of us in very different way. How will we create that way and path? Thank you for. I'm thinking of uh, what you said in in the beginning this, that sharing is. Um, I think it was Andrea that said that sharing is listening, and I'm thinking uh, it is um, to be mindful, to be um, in the now, uh, like this bus driver, and uh, like uh, when you are uh, buying groceries uh, is, uh, in in the stop in the in the shop, and uh, the cashier is is saying uh, thank you and uh, having a nice day, and um, you it makes you be present, be mindful at this that point. And 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 sharing that moment together, if if you are mindful. And um, today I was walking around a, a lake in nearby my house, and I was also thinking about being mindful. Uh, all the way to to uh, listen and to share the moment of the nature and uh, of the birds uh, 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 flying uh, south uh, and uh, enjoying uh, the moment, um, being mindful. Uh, this uh, curious name, uh, but. Uh, that is also sharing, I think. Thank you. I am conscious of the sharing between love and wisdom in the second ray. And we, we speak quite a lot of, of, about love, and perhaps don't quite get that balance or sharing right between wisdom and love. So 
put that in my meditation a bit, I think. And I, whilst I was, whilst that thought was there, that there was this relationship and, and listening to people speaking between sharing and conflict, they're, they're sort of um, They have very similar qualities in, in some way, don't they? Conflict between things, sharing between things. Perhaps not as different as might at first appear. Thank you. I once uh, uh, tried to explain to someone um, uh, on astrology uh, about the uh, opposition, the, the difference between opposition and, uh, 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 do we call it square, uh, of a fourth, uh, 90 degrees. And I think... Uh, with our position, it is the second ray. Um, then to to uh, to solve uh, our position, you you need to stay in the middle of the uh, horoscope uh, as the soul. But with a square, you need to go upwards and. Um, Get a higher advantage uh, from uh, the the golden uh, what do you call it the golden uh, bridge uh, to get the buddhic plane uh, wisdom to solve a square and to solve I, I think it's um, for me at least <laughs> it it makes sense. Uh, the difference between uh, solving a, a second uh, the the second ray and the fourth ray. Thank you. As Annette was bringing her mindfulness into nature, it made me also remember that we share a space with all the kingdoms on earth. And it's very easy to disregard our space and their space as separate or to regard it as that. And I think as we learn more and more about the wholeness of consciousness, that the vegetable kingdom, the plant kingdom, and the consciousness that is being discovered almost on a daily basis, but that is within that. And of course, we know that is within the animal kingdom. And for those of us who have found rocks and minerals to be a significant part of our lives, there is great deal of consciousness that flows in a sense of feeling with different minerals. And so I think it's just important to hold that idea of sharing into the wholeness of all of God's creations. I think that's important. Thank you, friends, and thank you, Brigitte, for offering us these questions. So many different threats that emerge, and let us continue holding these threats and in our group chalice for the next two weeks till the new moon. We will have opportunity to meet so one more time before the new moon uh, next Friday. October 25th uh, for our quarter moon meeting where we will have more
opportunities to share and reflect together. So please join us uh, on October 25th at 6 p.m. Universal Time, which is 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. And please uh, save the link for the community impressions board as our way to continue our sharing between the meetings. And now as we preparing to close our meeting today, I invite if anyone would like to sound a mantra to close our work today. I'm happy to do that. Radiance are we and light. We stand forever with our hands stretched out, linking the heavens and the earth, the inner world of meaning and the subtle world of glamour. We reach into the light and bring it down to meet the need. We reach into the silent place and bring from thence the gift of understanding. Thus, with the light we work and turn the darkness into day. Oh.